What's up, everybody? Lanzer here. I've been a NC main Vanguard tanker for quite a while. And this next video, as a follow-up to my, my previous ones about the Vanguard tank loadout, also some in-game quality of life adjustments you can make. Now I'm going to hit on the engineer class itself, some things that you can do to make your life easier in a tank. And I'll just, you know, spill the beans and let you know what some of us are doing, at least at the very least what I'm doing to improve my tank play. So under classes, engineer, the the primary weapon actually matters a little bit more than you might th think. I used to use a lot of piston, promise, blitz sort of style of weapons, but I was actually late to the party and figuring out that this little gizmo, this little guy over here, where to go? The Punisher has an under barrel that, if you're an engineer, will give you a quick pop repair. So it's like it's almost like an instant repair grenade, and it's actually pretty cool. I've been using it ever since, and it's gotten me out of some pretty tight spots. So I went from having you know a full like. Anyone close quarters, I hit him with a shotgun. Anyone far away, I hit him with the promise or the blitz or whatever. Now I go to using the Punisher, and this Punisher uses its uh, secondary fire, alt fire. I can't remember which one right now, but it will then boom. And as you can see on the right over here, it's healing me back up. And then I can throw a grenade, and by then I've got some heals going that I can just get back in and start fighting. Whereas before, I'd pop out, use my rep tool, jump back in, and then go at it. So that's kind of helped me out uh, lately. And I'm, again, I was late to the party and figuring that out. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. So now I'm using the adaptive class under barrel, under the Punisher, to kind of get a quick heal in. And I use you know, nano kit just like everybody else. Under the ability slot, I sometimes use a hard light barrier to stop a ram. Uh, like I said in my last video, I embrace the ram as much as possible. But there's some times when I just want to put a hard light barrier out. I can't really think of an example right now. But there's just instances, situational. Uh, you know what? It's when I'm repairing. So when I'm sitting here repairing for a good length of time, I'll maybe put this down here and, and rep crouched. That way I can not be so exposed by like a stealth flash or if there's a, a, a quick ram coming in that I'm not seeing and I don't get sideswiped and die. So I'll sometimes use that. Other times I'll use a Spitfire if I want uh, to, to know when people are coming near me. So I'll jump out, put a Spitfire down, jump back in, and then you can hear like the bleep bleep if if somebody is nearby. Um, and that's kind of like a, almost like a prox radar in some in some situations. So that's helpful. What else? Uh, these two aren't really super helpful, but sometimes you know if if you want an alternate way of dealing with stuff. <laughs> uh, suit. I used to use a lot of flag armor. Uh, Nano weave sometimes, but most of the time flag. But then I caught on that grenade bandolier will increase. The number of nano wrap grenades that I can use. So, I do that now. You know? And I'd have four instead of one. It's a, it's a bit expensive, and I usually don't use them all at once or in the same sitting. So I'll use them sort of judiciously, uh, very selectively. But it's now helpful to prolong my engagements. Utility, I usually use Aux Shield. I... Used to use a lot of tank mines. You know, when I when I get out, I'd throw a couple down, and as you can see, I've gotten quite a number of kills with them. But usually, I just don't mess with that anymore, and I just put on the ox shield to give myself a little bit more health. Melee, I equip nowadays. I equip the psychonetic blade because it can do damage to vehicles. If I need to run after a vehicle, it, it's pretty limited in use. But you know. That's what I use, because I'm pretty sure I... Maybe I had the Amaterasu, which is a projectile. But, yeah, I use it because it could damage vehicles. I'll go to Tactical next and skip over the implant. So Tactical, I'll use a Hard Light Canopy, 
when I'm when I'm getting A to G'd in a way that I can't stop it from happening. But you know, as a tanker, if you don't already know this, find yourself the nearest hill and you instantly have the the sort of height that you're looking for, or you can just kind of pop in your your gunner if you have a ranger or a trawler or another you know, whatever you want really. So that's always a good option to have. And then last but not least, the implants. So kind of in the same way as the, the defense slot on the Vanguard that I mentioned where a lot of them are, your mileage may vary six and one half a dozen in the, of the other. I think it's the same way with the implants. There's one implant that is almost universally regarded as kind of de facto, and that would be ammo printer, especially if you take a lot of, uh, if you shoot a lot and if you put a lot of bullets down range, I do that a lot. So I'm constantly firing but projectiles. Every once in a while, I'll get that lucky hit that I'm looking for. And if I had, you know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So because of ammo printer, I don't need to watch my my ammo count. What is going on over there? I don't need to watch my ammo count like I used to. But when I'm not running ammo printer, I usually run out of ammo. So it's pretty much a, a, a staple for me. And this second one, it, it's just my personal opinion, really, that I use logistics specialists because I squat up a lot. So I'm constantly in a place where I'm... I'm it's hard for my squad mates to get to me if they're not, you know, if we're not in an armor column together. So I'll make it easy on them and put in logistics specialists and they can pop right in as my gunner. And that's, that's, I found that to be more helpful. But some alternatives. Oh, uh, my favorite personally, my favorite alternative is, where are you? Counterintelligence. Somewhere here. Counterintelligence which when people damage me, they're automatically spotted. I think that's awesome. It's very helpful to know where people are when they're um, trying to shoot me. Next, another good alternative to that is... Where are you? Where are you? Sweeper HUD. That's also a really good one. You know, For all many obvious reasons, sometimes tank mines are hard. Very hard to find. And you don't find them until they blow you up. I usually am Q-spotting the ground in front of me just as, yeah, just because. <laughs> it's just smart. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll detect a random tank mine that I wasn't tracking before. And now I just maybe saved my tank from exploding. So I'm, I'm constantly Q-spotting as much as I can remember. So that kind of is like a, a sweeper HUD, a manual sweeper HUD. But this is certainly helpful uh, for just making your life easy when it pops up. And also, I am also pretty favorable toward target focus. It kind of gives me that how far are they sort of thing, um, which can help for all you, you math nerds that know the, the tick marks and what they mean, especially like these right here, these tick marks. If you know what those represent, and you can do some calculus in your brain or whatever, then the target focus should be that last bit of data that helps you out there. And the most important thing about it, to me, is it shows the health bar. Uh, there in the middle. Increase cross here. No, nope, there it is. Uh, displays the target's health bar while spotted. So that's always helpful for me because I'd like to know who it is I should kill first. And if they have lower health, then usually I'm going to kill them because that means there are less guns firing at me. So those are some things as the engineer class that I found to be the most helpful in my tank play. Punisher with a class under barrel, a reserve hard light barrier or Spitfire auto to stop the to stop the you know sneaky ram while I'm trying to rep my stuff outside my tank. <sighs> Nano repair grenade with grenade bandolier to give me four grenades instead of one. Tank mines, if you'd like to, but I use aux auxiliary shield. Some sort of, uh, I don't remember what the equivalent is here. Maybe the carver or whatever, but I use the psychic blade to damage armor. If, in the rare opportunity, I can, I can actually manage it. 
Tactical would be Hard Light Canopy for A to G. And for implants, I normally run Ammo Printer and, and Logistics Specialist. But also, there will be times when I want to, run a, want to run Counter Intel, Sweeper HUD, or Target Focus. And that's the sort of equipment that I run in order to improve my tank play. So, hope it helps. Hope. But, you know, if, if you have something different, put it in the comments and then, yeah, we can all learn from each other. We're constantly all learning how to weave together different assets in the game to improve. So, cool. Have a great day.